welcome to this TAS Academy HVAC training video. Today's topic, when replacing existing furnaces in R410A AC systems with the new R32 furnaces, you need to shut the R32 refrigerant leak monitor off. Here's how. Your host is technical trainer Randall Ripley. All of the new Goodman and Amana R32 gas furnaces, uh, whether from 80% to 97%, are equipped with a control board capable of shutting off the gas heat and turning on the blower fan in case of an R32 refrigerant leak in the indoor evaporator coil. If the R32 furnace is replacing an existing furnace in an AC system that does not utilize R32 refrigerant, the R32 functionalities in the furnace control board will need to be turned off for, for the furnace to operate. If the A2L function is enabled, the control will monitor the R32 sensor information. If the A2L function is disabled, the furnace control will ignore all A2L functions. The R32 function on the control board is on by default, but can be disabled through the furnace control board by entering the A2L function enabled menu and selecting no. This only applies when pairing the R32 furnace with other than R32 AC equipment. Failure to do this will cause the furnace to not operate and give an EAF error code. We will use the switches under the seven segment LED to go to the A2L function enabled menu. The left button is for scrolling backwards. The center button for selecting. The right button is for scrolling forward. Pressing any two buttons at the same time returns you to IDL. To enter the A2L function enabled menu with the furnace displaying IDL, which means no call on the furnace, press the left or right switch until the LED displays A2E. Press the center switch to select. The LED will display the default option, yes. Press the right switch and the option will change to no. Press the center button to select. Press any two switches to return to IDL. Put a call on the unit. If everything else is set up correctly, it should fire up. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of our videos, hit the subscribe button so you get notified each time a new video drops. Thanks for watching. If you have an idea for a video, please send it, including your phone number to my email address on the screen. You can watch uh, all of our TAS Academy videos at our YouTube page. Here's my email uh, to mail your ideas, comments, whatever. Have a great day. Hope to see you back.